Welcome home to the Glenview Tudor. Yeah, the, the modern day Tudor. Yeah, this is our modern take on a, on a Tudor. You guys have been following along the process here on Building a Better South as we have kind of walked you through from the beginning when it was being framed up um, and all the little finishes that are now coming to fruition and we're gonna share with you guys. Yeah, so this is uh, a house Gretchen and I have been working on with a customer, custom build in Glenview Springs here in Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're gonna to walk you through most of the first floor. Mm -hmm. It's about 3,000 square feet. Uh, standard ceiling height is about 10 foot on most of the floor, mm -hmm. couple vaults and 12 foot in the great room. But uh, yeah. where do you wanna start? So I'm, we'll start here in the foyer, but I will touch a little bit on the exterior because I get tons of questions every time I post about this house and our stories, and I know you do as well. Mm -hmm. So the exterior of the home is painted brick and it's painted pure white by Sherman Williams. And then we've got gray touches just to pick up on those kind of Tudor-esque, if that's even a word, um, details. And we painted those actually Coventry gray and that one is Benjamin Moore. Um, the front door is painted debonair blue by Sherman Williams. Um, again, you guys asked that a lot yeah. and you were wanting to know specifics, so there you have it. I'm glad you listened to me and put some of those Tudor accents with the gray on the front when I suggested that. Yeah, so if you guys remember, this home originally was specced. It was going to be a painted white brick with black windows. And um, that Sorry. was initial meetings before I came to the meetings yeah. that Jason, um, you guys started off. And I met with the clients and I immediately said, I don't think that's their vibe. I don't think that's their feel. What do you guys think about going with white windows? in a Tudor style because the details on the home, I felt like if we picked up on the paint details that we could really accent the Tudor style. Well, in initial meetings we'd been talking and the last couple of houses had just a little bit more clean line, a little bit more modern. We were talking square treads, box newels, and then... And then I came to the party and everything changed. <laughs> so we got rounded steps yes. and uh, over the post rail and Yes. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, so we went real traditional with the foyer um, staircase. It's open, it's got these beautiful windows. Someone um, asked me, how do you address these windows? Luckily for them, they are tucked away in a very private cul-de-sac. So I really wouldn't do anything to the windows. Uh, it, I think there's plenty of privacy back here and it just lets in a beautiful amount of light. So um, the post is, Paint it the Coventry gray, again, to match the outside. And then we've got pure white on the spindles. So kept it light and bright in this well, area. One thing that I get asked about fairly often is stairs go up here and they're like, why do you not have a rail here against the window? And you know, we're about, gosh, two and a half inches from the window here. So it's tight, it's still open to the basement, uh, but it does not require a railing for us here by code. So that's how we... Oh, so that's where you sweep all the dust bunnies and that's, <laughs> that's where right. they fall. So that's when you're right. sweeping the floor, you just sweep them over to that area. Yeah. Well, and one thing I do like about these windows is, so this goes to the basement, which we're not connected there, but it sheds that natural light to the basement, to the second floor bonus room, and then also floods that first floor with the natural light. Okay. Gosh, I feel like we've spent a lot of time here. We've yeah. got this cute little window seat, hoping to yeah. get a custom little cushion made for this area. And then that takes you directly in, do you want to join me now? Oh, yes. Into the family room. That's um, how it usually works. I sit down for two seconds. And... <laughs> Come, on, Come on, back at it. we got to get this house finished. <laughs> They're moving in. Yeah. So welcome to the family room. This family room size is what? So we're about 18 feet deep by almost 21 feet wide and 12 foot ceilings. And we've done that mainly with a drywalled coffered ceiling and then finished it off with an oversized seven inch piece of crown molding. Yes, and I went out of town for a week and when I came back, somehow the TV got shifted from over here, which we had originally specced. And I think behind the wallpaper is still mm -hmm. the cable. It's wired, it's wired back there. Um, but That's we, artwork, what are you talking about? <laughs> but we have a, a beautiful TV over top of the fireplace. Um, I think the one they did select is really lovely though. It's got a little white edge detail and again, you can set it to be artwork. So we selected a beautiful beach today and Jason <laughs> turned the fireplace on for me so it's nice and warm in here. 
Yeah, because we are still February. Yeah, it's still February. So I'm really pleased with how this yeah, space turned out. You've got out. your marble around. We've got a beautiful fireplace. marble surround. This is Shadow Storm around the fireplace. We did a, a really pretty engineered wood floor in here. It's not too dark, it's not yeah. too light. It's just a good. About six inches wide. Six inches wide. So I, I think it it's works well with the finishes in here. On the walls, we've got Repose Gray by Sherman Williams. And then again, the trim is pure white. Well, and what I like about this house is we, the customer had the lot that came to us and we really designed the house to maximize the advantages of the lot. So mm -hmm. house is really long, private woods out to the back. Both these doors open wide up so you can have that connection to the outdoor. We've got like a 35 foot wide by 16 foot deep porch across the back with a fireplace. So indoor, outdoor, entertaining, huge patio, little fire pit gonna go out there. It's gonna be a well lived in and loved home for years to come. I know, yeah. So let's take you guys. So this is the family room. Can't wait for all that beautiful furniture to be delivered in here. And this is the kitchen and dining room area. So we ordered a beautiful long farmhouse table from Our House Furniture. Mm -hmm. And if needed, it's gonna be able to seat probably 10 to 12 comfortably. Um, I think every day we'll have eight seated, but for those you know family extended dinners, you'll be able to pull in those extra chairs. And, he, and here we are, and then you're in the kitchen. So it's nice, wide open, perfect for their family with three yeah. small children. And I am just, the I love- The cleaners just rolled out, they just closed yeah, the door. Yeah, so and... nice and clean in here. I love the way the kitchen turned out. So we have beautiful white perimeter cabinets, which are pure white. We did, took that debonair blue, which again is the exterior door color, and it's on the island. And we've got beautiful marble. It's a shadow storm on all of the countertops. And it, it's not a super porous marble. I mean, it, it's got a, uh, a little bit of a shine on it. So I think it, it should hold up well with the, the rough and tough kiddos. Yeah, right we've, been, we've been using this specific marble now in several homes. I've really been pleased with it. It's got a pretty amount of movement in it and it's just got nice pale gray tones in it too. And it's fun seeing, I remember going to market with you at High Point and you texting pictures of these lights to Trish, the homeowner. Yes, so we selected these lights are from Visual Comfort and I absolutely love them. They're the chrome with the pleated shades and I, I just love what they add to the space. And then we've got the longer light over the dining area. We decided to do the two here and one long just to, to I feel like they, complement each other nicely. And then we've got the arm lights over there, which we source locally um, from Breckers. But if you guys love the lights that I'm selecting for the houses, then I would encourage you to follow me on the Like It To Know It app because I'm gonna be sourcing and putting all those lights there and you can shop directly from that app. So you can just follow me Gretchen Black on that. Yeah, cool. And then beautiful farmhouse sink. Yeah, we've got a beautiful DXB farmhouse sink and then we've got this beautiful chrome, yeah. which I love, faucet from Moen. Yep, oh, it, it works. works. Good. Awesome. Check, good. Make sure that hot water's on too. <laughs> yeah. Got your little push button for the garbage disposal right. in good. there. Yeah, gar garbage disposal. This one pulls down, which is so nice. And to keep with the traditional vibe, we went straight subway, mm -hmm. except the little, uh, the yeah. homeowner's favorite tile here. Yeah, so we added this little detail, which I love. So just to kind of break up all the white of the cabinets and the lightness of the countertop, we added this um, marble floral detail. And then of course, I think it complements nicely with the pot filler. And is that, that is mowing, mowing. and matches. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Inset cabinets, beautiful. Yep. They're tall. Refinished interior. Yep, and crystal knobs. So again, we source all of our knobs because I get asked that um, through the cabinet, through Century Cabinets. But if you're looking for some great knobs, Top Knobs has some great options to look at. And I love how the drawers, you've got these oversized poles instead of the little knob or short pole. You've just got those big poles. It's very, uh, just feels sturdy. Yeah, when you have an oversized drawer like this, you have two options. You have the option for an oversized pull like what we did here, or you could separate it and you could put two cut pulls. So we just, we went with this because we just like the look and feel of it. And we've decided to hide the fridge behind the panels here. I 
I like your addition of the glass here. I'm sure you'll yeah. be uh, shopping for some pretty decorative. Well, uh, yeah, plates. you have all those pretty dishes. You know, your your china that you want to display, or your pretty vases that you have, or platters. So we have that little area. We have a little wine chiller, also. Yeah, and this the kitchen really is the hub of the home. As we go out of the kitchen, we kind of have a central corridor that has the kiddos' work zone. So. They have three kids, they each have their own desk, and then they opted to put, you know, a little bit of storage up top with the closed doors there to keep the messes out of the way. Yep. And then nice addition. big wide drawer for pencils and papers and notebooks underneath there. And then we've transitioned there for a while. We were putting the chargers in the cubbies, but we found a lot of people weren't using them there. So we've actually put chargers, USBs right there in the uh in the cut or in the desk area so keep those laptops and phones charged right there. yeah and i love how we went down and, and literally the, it's dividers between each space so no questions on no who's question who's. on whose is whose so yeah. do you want to show them the laundry yeah let's then? do laundry yeah so then here we are in this hallway and we'll take you into the laundry room this is the first floor laundry room because there is a secondary laundry room and i love this space we went with this really pretty little herringbone tile it's got a touch of the blue accent on it and we went with the light blue cabinets in here which are is it first star stardew stardew which is uh in the same color pattern as debonair um, we found these cute little laundry baskets. I love these baskets. I have them at our house. These are from good old Target. Target. And we've got the same marble in here. We've got a really pretty chrome fixture. We've got some lovely GE washer and dryer. So I think this is a really bright and happy laundry room. I wouldn't mind doing laundry in this space. You can overlook um, the front yard and watch the kids and see what's going on. We've got to iron out one more little detail. Well, I'll let there. you. I was saving your for, your for the favorite detail. <laughs> I know how much you love this. I know. It's, it's such a simple thing, but as opposed to seeing the ironing board hanging on the wall or left out in the kitchen, we've color matched this with the cabinetry. Right. And we simply pull down right there, plug in your iron. It sits right here. I think we've even got a little, little light there. Yep. Mm. Oh, it works. Uh, so you can tie the cords in there and, and whatnot. So and then it's got the metal plate. So if you are putting the warm iron back up here, you'll put it against that, so you're not putting it against the, think of it all. the wood. I know they think of it all. You don't even have to think so. So must have for not a must, but it's a nice. Idea. It's a it's it's a nice detail to have. So yeah. all right, let's show them other more, details. More. All There's right, more on this it. first floor. That rhyme. Did you like that? Okay, so again, walking you by the desk area, we have off of the kitchen a lovely built in pantry area, which has got nice cabinetries. It's got um, the marble countertop. We've got an additional refrigerator system in here. Well, and I like how we went with open shelving too, because this has a door you can close off, but you know, it's a working pantry, so mm -hmm. not necessarily a need to have these closed, but for cereal and just everyday grab and, grab yeah. and go items you can keep those easily accessible and still got our nice nice sink there got a view of the right cul-de-sac there so well and you can you know like if you're making something in the crock pot in the morning you can throw that in here we've got your plugs you can have that cooking during the day in here instead of sitting it out in the main kitchen area we've got favorite little ice machine tucked away in here and like I had mentioned another refrigerator so this and is a couple a more plugs over there so toasters coffee machines any of those things that stay plugged in it's just it's just a nice out of sight out of mind right it just keeps door. it tucked out of the main kitchen area all right and even though the mudroom is kind of the off the beaten path area there's so much pretty to offer in there. I know, I love this space. I All like right, the fun go. little details that we incorporated. I hope you guys are enjoying this tour. We, as you can tell, we're super excited about this home. <laughs> as we go back to the mudroom, I do want to point out one thing. We did uh, put a smart home system in this house. So we've got a couple control panels here. It's our control four system. We control the TVs, the security, security cameras, lighting, and it's, it's a splurge item, but it's, you know, it, it's not 
a super expensive item to add as people think of home automation. So it's a great mm -hmm. affordable addition. We've we use, yeah, we have that in our home, and I, we always have music going, more so than TV, and it's, and yeah. it's really just nice. When it ties into the, the Apple world, I don't know how, but it, it, it adjusts. So as the sun sets, the lights can come on and off however the, the sun is. So the lights yeah. are always coming on at, at night. So. That's right. All right, enough of the boring stuff. All right. Back to the Yeah, pretty. so we have our secondary entry, which you can call your friend's entry, um, or or the kids can come in through this way. So we have the garage door back that way and your friend's entry through this so door. So let's welcome our friends in and we gotta show <laughs> I love the railings that we ended up with out there. So kind of went with, instead of a standard picket, we just put them on an angle. Uh, I think that was C3, our architect had that idea. So your blue ceilings, really a nice touch. And hopefully I didn't let in too much cold air. I know. <laughs> we've got it nice and warm in here today. Um, so we've got two separate areas. We've got a built-in with cubbies. I love this. We painted the de debonair back here for just the cubbies. We added a little bit of shiplap because the homeowner had requested some shiplap. And I love this. So we added this cane detail on the door. I ordered it and had our great trim guys. They're awesome to work with. So they built out these doors and added this detail. I love it because a lot of times the stuff that you put up there is a sports equipment. So having this cane allows ventilation so you don't just Ooh. shove up the stinky Pretty sports. Pretty function. Yeah, sports equipment up there. And then when you open it, it like knocks you out because it stinks so bad. This is coming from a boy <laughs> mom. So this way, it constantly gets airflow up here, which I love, and it's pretty. Um, again, just the chrome details. Well, and I like how we got it to the trim guys early enough that they were able to seamlessly integrate. So mm -hmm. when it was all painted, it just, you know, it looks like a professional cabinet maker made those. And it yeah. really, it's Yeah, because this came raw, which is in like a neutral, you know, wood tone material, so. We opted to paint it all out. And then we've got another little cubby over here um, with, with the bench. And so you can put some little baskets tucked away. We've got three hooks. Again, they've got three kids. And I love this little detail and how we did the contrast with the ship lab. And I like your little curved detail on the top. No, That's I love that. It's so, 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 so simple, sweet. yet adds mm -hmm. a sweet little touch. Yeah, so do you want to show them the powder room? So, Back this way, we've got, this is a back door out to that back patio so kind of area. The of that front yeah. porch. And this area we decided to tile. I love this tile. This is from Floor and Decor, and it's, it's like a cute little blue floral tile, a dress to match it today. <laughs> um, and this is the powder room. This is a really big oversized powder room. So we did a really pretty white vanity in here with the marble top, and then we've got really pretty faucet in the chrome, and it's got the hot and cold little details on the faucet. We've got this wallpaper. It's actually um, by Joanna Gaines. You know how she has her own wallpaper line. So this is one of her wallpapers, which we loved. And then we found just this pretty, again, kind of tying those details again, this really pretty cane mirror, um, just tying in the cane from the mudroom area. And I love this space. Yeah. And it's got a nice little window with some light. Yeah, going Sorry. around and adjusting things. So. I really love this bathroom. And then tucked behind the wall is the toilet. Yeah, and I think there was some debate on the wallpaper on which way it, it went. Yeah. Um, the wallpaper guy, I think, had it. We just deferred to whatever JoJo said in, yeah, in her this book. Is how it this was. is so how it was. It's it's very cool. We've got the nice light fixture and. And a warm. wallpaper, it, that's a great place to add a special, unique touch to home in a powder room. Because this is a very customizable with the detail, the vanity, mm -hmm. the floor with the white grout, and you and your pretty dress. I yeah. mean, it's. Uh, I, I dressed perfect. for the house today. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I think that's a pretty good. Uh, yeah, hope it gives you guys a little bit of an overview of this home and part of the first floor. We haven't I know, even we touched. didn't even make it to the master, which yeah. is another, in the office. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe next week we can take them on yeah. that. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed a little glimpse into the Glenview Tudor. Big hats off to Gretchen for putting so many special touches on this house for making artisan always look so good.
Thanks. It's been a team effort. We've had Zach over here helping out yeah. a lot and you and Jimmy. So it's, it's a beautiful house and I, the homeowners have been so wonderful to work with and it's been a really fun project. You know, I like when they're open to your ideas mm -hmm. and trust, trust your judgment and you know, you get you know, something that's just a little bit different, unique and special. So folks want to follow more of you? You can find me on Instagram listed as Gretchen Black. And I'm Jason Black with Artisan Signature Homes and together we're building, building a better, better self. self.